and welcome back to the Art Life YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this gorgeous artwork with oil pastels. In the past we've had a go at creating another landscape and this one is a little bit more detailed but also really fun and really therapeutic as well. So come with me and I'll show you how to do this one. All you need for this task today guys is some paper. I've used some thick brown craft card but you can just use normal white paper if that's all you have and all you need is some oil pastels. shout out to a really big legend Zoe who's told me that she's watched every single one of my videos which is a fantastic effort so thank you so much for your support. So the first thing I'm doing as you'll notice is putting down some masking tape. This just helps to border the paper and once you've finished it just creates a really nice clean edge so I do suggest that if you have any masking tape. Now today we're going to work with portfolio pastels. I love these because they're really high pigment, high in oil, and so they're really slippery and lovely to use. However, you can use any pastels that you have. We're going to create an abstract landscape today and it's going to be of a mountain range. So I'm just going to sort of give myself an idea where everything's going to go just with a really light pencil mark. So first you need a horizon line. My horizon line is going to go about a third up from the bottom of the page. I'm working in a portrait shape today. Right, nice straight line there. Now I'm gonna have a main subject, which is going to be my mountain coming up like this. Just a large triangle kind of shape. Just like that. And I might just do a smaller one in the background just to give it a bit of depth. I will do a bit of a river here but that's just a wobbly line it doesn't really matter if that's neat or not. Today I want to work with some kind of abstract colours. You can choose any sort of colours you like but it's important to have a go at using a variety so I'm definitely going to work with some white today. I'm working on a craft card sort of brown piece of paper because it really brings out the white. If you're working on white, it doesn't really do what I want it to do. So I'm going to use some darker kind of blue tones. Get those ready over this side. I love this sort of bright magenta, so I might use that as well. Now I'm going to use this kind of creamy color for um, some of the lighter areas. All right, that's kind of my color scheme today. You can go with whatever colors you like, obviously. I might even add a bit of pink. All right, the place I'm gonna start is just the sky here. And I'm going to really concentrate on the direction of my drawing today, the direction of my coloring. So when I'm doing the sky, I'm gonna work from side to side in a horizontal line from left to right. And for my sky, I might have a go at going a bit of this sort of muted green. Now, this is my color scheme for my sky. The green's gonna be my medium sort of color. This cream peach color is going to be my lighter tones and this darker blue is gonna be my darker tones. All right, so I'm just gonna start by going side to side here. Go straight up to my edge. My aim is to really get into all of those little gaps. I normally call them white gaps in my classroom, but today they're brown gaps because I'm working on a brown craft card piece of paper. So pushing nice and hard because I really want that color to stand out. I don't want to see any paper behind it. I can go up to and a little bit over my mountain here, not too much. 
and you will notice that some of their pastel will sort of come off so we need to carefully sort of flick those chunky bits away it is tempting to go this way but try to keep in the correct sort of direction you'll see why soon okay you might even notice that i've even left some gaps here that is for a reason and obviously if you are wanting to do a more realistic artwork you would obviously have a go at doing some blue in the sky but i like to mix it up and i'm a real fan of abstract art so that's why i've done that today okay so that's my medium sort of main sky color i'm going to add some lighter tones now and as i said i'm going to do that with my my peach color here still working side to side and these are going to suggest some clouds in the sky so when i'm coloring i'm sort of going over the green a little bit because these colors are going to blend pretty nicely i'm still trying to get all of these gaps now because this is our light tone notice that i'm coloring the top of my gaps here i'm not actually coloring the bottom Oops. because these pastels are so soft they do break sometimes so please be careful <laughs> okay I'm gonna add some of my darker tones what I'm just doing now is coloring over my my blue sort of shadow a little bit with my cream color and that's making the colors blend together nicely. All right, you still with me? You get the idea, that's our sky. Oh, got down here. All right, we're now going to move on to this background mountain, you might notice that I'm starting with whatever's furthest away and I'm working forward. So the sky is the furthest thing away. I've done that first. Now I'm just gonna do this little guy here. Now he's not my main focal point, so I don't want him to have a lot of detail. I want this mountain to be the main thing that people see when they look at my artwork. So I'm just gonna choose two colors. I'm gonna keep him fairly dark, but this time I'm changing my direction. I'm now going to work with the shape of the triangle so i'm working around kind of like that in a diagonal motion that way and then diagonal motion going this way all right this guy's a bit boring this mountain's going to be a lot more interesting because here's the focal point so Let's leave that guy and we'll move on to our main feature now. Okay, I'm gonna continue on with the green. I really do love this blue, so I'll grab that too. I wanna work with some white. Because I love the this middle mountain to sort of be the focal point, I've grabbed a few extra colors um, just to add a bit of vibrancy. So again, I'm gonna be working in that sort of diagonal sketchy kind of um, side to side motion going this way and then going this way i'll show you what i mean with my white if i start up here what i'm coloring i'm keeping in this direction when i go down this side i'm going to keep in this sort of direction all right this way and this way it's going to give the look of a mountain but I am going to start with my medium sort of color. So there's really no kind of formula to this, except that whenever I'm using a color, I'm going to finish it with a point at the top of my sort of triangle here. And it's getting thicker down the bottom because that's sort of the shape that we're working with. So whenever I color in a section, I'm kind of going to stick to that shape 
Can you see that? Now I'm just going to add a bit of a highlight this really bright pink. I don't want it to take over too much, so I'm only just going to do a really small amount. I'm going to go in with my dark tone now. You might ask, how do you know where to colour? I don't, I don't really. I am just making this up as I go. What you start with is the medium. Fill in most of the areas with this sort of medium colour. I wanted to make it a bit abstract, so I've just added an extra medium colour. Uh, I'm just sort of playing with it. And that is really important in art and something I'd love to encourage everyone to do. Even if you don't have the confidence, it's important to have a go. And as you practice and watch tutorials like this to give you the confidence to really have a go. And I think you'll be really surprised and pleased with some of the things you create, especially if you don't copy, try to take these strategies and adapt them and make them your own. So I'm just filling in some darker spots. They sort of suggest peaks and shadows really. And I'm keeping to that triangular kind of shape. have another darker sort of highlight here so I'll add that in too. Right. Now for some highlights. Get rid of those gross bits. Highlights are just the lighter kind of colours like the whites and this peach and they suggest that the light is hitting the mountain in those areas gives it some depth gives it some tone now the white is a really important part of this coloring task and it's actually the reason I used brown paper because it really stands out. If you were to use white paper, the color wouldn't be as vibrant and we want it to be as vibrant as possible. So the white acts as a bit of a highlight, but it makes it look like it's a snowy mountain, as you can see, and really sets it apart from the background. It brings it forward. Please make sure that you get these lines nice and clean the edges there I'm pretty much just filling in whatever I haven't colored in yet in my white now if you're not very experienced with pastels I think this activity is a really great place to start because there's not all that you can do that's wrong as long as you follow my steps have a go at using abstract sort of colors I think your artwork will look really fantastic please don't forget to follow and tag my Facebook page because I'd love to share some images of all the things you've been doing and um, engaging with the lessons that I'm posting um, it's a fantastic way for me really to get feedback on how everyone's going um, and I'd love to see your artwork. That would make me really happy. Cool. So I've done my main mountain there. You can see it's a lot more detailed than the other two sections because I really do want it to stand out as much as possible. Now I'm going to focus down here and this is the ground. So now I'm going to change direction again and I'm going to do the side to side motion just like what I did in the sky. So I'm going to choose a couple of colors again might bring a bit of orange in because I'd like to add a little bit more. I want some blue because I'm going to do um, some sections that is a, a water kind of section. And I'll add some details with my peach. Now 
notice I'm coloring over my mountain because the ground here, this horizon line is in front of my mountain. So I need to suggest that by just coloring over it a little bit, just like that. Some of the colors might mix a little bit, but that's fine. So my strategy here is just working with a few different colors. These three colors work really nicely together because um, when you color them over the top of each other, they're blending really well. Um, so you can sort of just keep, keep going with your layers, add a light area. If it's too light, just color over the top of it. There's really no rule to it. I'm just, I'm just playing. Now I wanna make my river. now as my last detail in my artwork is get a nice sharp pastel and just add in some little reeds here little lines coming up just gives the artwork a nice finishing off kind of detail and another color as well Really would love everyone to get out of the videos that I create is to have a go and really enjoy creating art. I know if you haven't had a lot of experience it's hard to have the confidence to have a go but I know with myself with my own artworks I look at them and I'm my own worst critic you know I, I see something that's wrong I see something I can fix I see something that's just not quite right that other people look at it and they really like it so we're always going to be a bit hard on ourselves I think so I really do hope that I can give you the tools and some steps to really give it a go and start to build up some confidence with creating artwork just like this finish it off by signing your name and you're all done it's as simple as that. I really hope you've enjoyed working with oil pastels today and seeing that it's not too hard to create something so beautiful just like this one. You just have to focus on the direction in what you're colouring with your pastels and also have a go at mixing up the colours and adding little details like this. Please make sure that you show me any photos of artworks that you've done just like this one by tagging at Art Life Art Lessons on Facebook and I'll be able to see the cool art that you've done.